Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 4th of 2022. Well, it is titled the multi wavelength crab. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Crab Nebula, also cataloged as M1, uh, the first object in Charles Messier's catalog from several hundred years ago of things that were fuzzy in the sky that were bigger than just looking like a dot like a star, but were not comets. Now what this is is a supernova remnant and that is the remnant of a star that exploded and in this case we saw it explode here on Earth nearly a thousand years ago back in 1054 at this location we saw a new star appear in the sky what we call a supernova. Now here we're looking at a different version of it in that we are looking at it from across our entire electromagnetic spectrum. Now the electromagnetic spectrum contains visible light, which is what we're used to thinking about when we say something like light. However, this is contains observations across the spectrum. So if we talk about visible light, instead of looking at say just red light, we'd want to look at all the different colors across the rainbow to get a complete picture. Well, in reality, we really want to look across the entire spectrum. Invisible light is only a small portion of this. We also want to look at things like x-rays, ultraviolet light, infrared light to be able to see these here. Now we also see radio waves and so all of this is put together to give us a more complete picture of this object. And we see again a number of these and the colorings of the purple, blue, green, yellow and red represent the emission from different types of radiation. So the red, for example, is looking at radio waves. And we can see where the radio emission is concentrated here. And others will tell us different things such as the x ray in the purple there. So we can see where the x rays are concentrated. And again, it's key point here is it's getting us a complete picture of this object. Now we see a concentration down towards the center and a very bright object there which is known as a pulsar. This is a collapsed star known as a neutron star which is about the size of this of a city but has the mass greater than the mass of our sun. And it's the result of a supernova explosion when material compresses down it compresses all of the material down to this neutron star. All of the electrons are crushed into the nuclei of the atoms by the immense pressures. And therefore we have something with the density of an atomic nucleus which is extremely high but much much larger in this case because we're using a lot of the mass of that star. So some of that material has been compressed down to this neutron star at the center. The rest of it is expelled out and we see that in all the different colors there. Uh, all the different emissions of that gas as it expands outward into space. And it's been doing that for a thousand years and will continue uh, to expand outward. Eventually this material will then form new stars so it'll become part of the seed material for future generations of stars. And this is where many of the heavier elements which to an astronomer is anything ever than other than hydrogen and helium are created and then expelled back out into the universe to make future generations of stars. So that was our picture of the day for March 4th of 2022. It was titled the multi wavelength crab. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be from somewhere else. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.